Well, 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 just chilling. Well, we're back now on our way to Tech. I don't. Are we already in Texas? Um, we're pretty close because El Paso is right on the border, isn't it? These guys need to get out of. Stop trying to get so close to me. I know, and we're doing all right so far. We've taken a little bit of damage, uh, but you know, in my book, a little bit of damage never hurt nobody. Nope. So uh, we got about ten hours and eighteen minutes left on this journey. So uh, I think we're gonna do it just fine, Ryan. I, I think so too. We got 620 miles. It's not many. So, how's your weekend, buddy? <sighs> My weekend was fantastic, man. I finally got to have some of Justin's chili for the very first time. Wasn't it spectacular? It was spectacular. It's amazing. And I'm sure you'll hear me talk a lot more about this in the titular Sonic 06 series. Um, I'll save my full review for that. So... If that's not out yet, you'll just have to wait. Which we unfortunately ran into a crisis oh recording. My God. Lost seven hours of seven hours of solid, solid let's playing. That's the most we've ever lost. Yes, it is. Never lost that much. Thank you, Elgato. You guys are real ones. Uh, but we've been burned so many times. We, I think you and I. Oh, I'm used to how shitty Elgato is. <laughs> oh yeah, but that was a big loss. It was, I guess. Wouldn't it be you know, cool if, like, maybe they gave you a warning when it was getting, like, when the file's getting too big? Well, I think if the program can't handle it, then just have the program do what others do and separate it into uh, different audio, or, sorry, different, like, files or every hour or so, or yeah. 30 minutes. Or even, you know, just right when you, right before you start recording, maybe just throw up a little dialogue warning box that just runs you through a couple couple ground rules, like... Try to refrain from recording more than three hours, as it could corrupt the file. Yeah. Just something as simple as that, you know? Exactly. Because how are we supposed to know that the file will corrupt if we record too long? They don't tell us that. Boom. But we're going to, well, Justin has to, I think, redo the Sonic story to get us mm -hmm. back up to... This looks like Albuquerque. New Mexico? It's not Albuquerque, but this is how Albuquerque looks, to Albuquerque, me at Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's, a. Uh, it looks like we're heading, yeah, so I guess this is El Paso, which I've never been to, and I really don't plan to ever go. Why? Yeah, it's pretty gay. What? Yeah. It's the gayest city in America. I, I never, I never knew, well, I've never been, so I wouldn't know, you know? I don't know anybody who's been there either, so I don't have any connection to anyone who, who would know anything about that. Um, which is crazy. Which, I mean, which is, like, cool, I guess. Okay. The real reason I don't want to go, Ryan, is because it has L in the name. I don't want to go anywhere where I might take an L. Or where Ellen might be. That's true. I saw with all the uh, California flooding, Ellen was kind enough to post a video from her, her backyard um, filming the river overflowing and warning people to stay safe. Stay safe? She's like, it's, it's getting pretty bad out here, so just remember to please be safe and watch out for your families. I mean, the rain is no joke here because... <laughs> The roads aren't built for it. The people out here don't know how to fucking drive. There's no, like, there's no, like, infrastructure built in Southern California to tackle rain. There's, like, not ample drainage. The ground is just like, oh, I'm full. Now flood. I just fucking popped a tire in the last, like, I think I popped it in September. Popped another one on a pothole. I have to call, the, like, a towing company to get my car to the shop. Damn, where is it right now? At your house? Mm-hmm. I'll change your tire for you. Really? Yeah. I'm pretty good at it. What'll it cost me? <laughs> Nothing. Do Just, you know, uh... Do you know how to change a tire? No, I don't. I've never changed a tire in my life. It's like a Lego, you know? How yeah. About I wish, dude. I <laughs> wish it was just... But then you have to... It'd be too easy for people to just fucking steal. I mean, it already is kind of easy for people to just steal tires if they want, which is crazy. That's such a funny thing to steal. Like, you come back out from a restaurant, your car's on cinder blocks. Hey, It's a comical one, situation. Hey, tires are expensive. People don't buy them to put on their own car. They buy them to sell them, right? I guess you could do either. No yeah. one looks and like, that's a nice tire. I'd like Shit. that for my car. I popped my tire. Now I need a tire of my own. Yeah. And they go, Mwah! <laughs> It's with just, flames behind them. <laughs> There's something so comical about, like, just walking out your front door and your car's on cinder blocks. Like, At it's least a, they put it on cinder blocks. Well, I mean, I think they have to. 
I'm just saying, you know. State law says if you're gonna rob someone from their tires, you have to at least be kind enough to put it on cinder blocks. No, uh, I'm kind of scared to change a tire because, like, the jack and everything, like, lifting up a car, I don't know, I just, I see so many things going wrong. It just kind of scares me a little bit. That's why don't, don't be under the car. Uh, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> don't lay under the car for some reason, for some odd reason. How often do you get to go under a car? <laughs> you're right, you're right. I it's think the, the last time there. I had to go under a car was to see if I could see one of my mom's cats, Mr. Bigglesworth, when he crawled up inside it. Yo, Mr. Bigglesworth was under the car? Yeah, he was. Did you get him out? When he was a guy, I didn't get him out. He eventually came out. I think just, my mom might have gotten him out. You just got to start the engine and rev it up a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's Mr. Bigglesworth? He's dead. Damn it, dude. I feel like... I feel like at least once every month we have this conversation. I'm like, how's Mr. Bigglesworth? And like, he's been dead. And I'm like, oh. I don't know why I keep forgetting Mr. Bigglesworth uh, went to the big uh, litter box in the sky. He did. Well, I don't know if it's called the big litter box in the sky. Yeah, that's what they call it. <laughs> that's, that's where they shit and piss. And fuck. Yeah, that's where, uh, that's where cats make little, little kittens. Yep, that's where they give birth, too. Dude, I remember... That's how the kittens know where to use the restroom, actually. Because they're born in a litter box. It's actually really interesting. That's why they call it a litter box. Hey, that's good shit, dude. Just saying. Is it? Huh? No, that doesn't make sense. What do you mean? It makes perfect sense. It's because it's a box where you put litter. Nope. It's a box. I mean, okay. that's what it, it eventually turned into. But back in the days... Oh, dude, we're about to drive past Marfa, Texas. Prove it. It just said it on a sign. I didn't see it. Justin, put the screenshot up, please. Nope, Justin. Vindicated. <laughs> Mar I want to go to Marfa. It's like in the middle of the desert, and it's a, it's apparently a really, really cool little oh. just, just desert town. I should have gotten gas. Oh, what the fuck? Nah, well, you're in Texas. There's plenty more times. Oh, dude. Ryan, 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 Ryan dude, stop, dude. Dude, it's not letting me. It's Dude, the controller just oh. fucked up. Okay. We need to get the, get a, we need to, it needs to be a wired connection. Do you want to switch seats so you're closer? But, okay, but Ryan, we, hold on, we gotta think for a second, because when you restart the game, I don't know if you noticed, you were in the- <laughs> you- you were in the air. Okay, you ready? Okay. <sighs> oh, please- oh! No, 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 no! Uh, oh, nice! Hey! Do we even take damage? I didn't see anything. I didn't see it say we took any damage. Told you I'd save us. Dude, oh ye of little faith. How come you fucking barely bonk a traffic cone and the whole load takes like 2% <laughs> damage, but you could fly off a fucking incline, almost tip, and nothing happens? Well... <sighs> impressive. Very impressive. It was doing that- remember that- Yep. Uh, Where it just like stops taking input and you yeah. would just drive into a wall? Thought it felt weird at first. That place looks pretty cool. Remember I was at my friend's house so growing so up and his cat was pregnant and she started giving birth while I was over. And uh... I got to witness the miracle of life, and it's disgusting. Did you squeeze him out? The cat just like, lifted her leg, and then just like... <laughs> this massive fucking placenta comes out. <laughs> and then she ate it. What? Yeah. That's what well, most, I mean... That's that what most animals do. Nutritious. Most animals eat the Especially placenta. you're expensing so much energy and stuff, and... You gotta make sure you have, you know, something in your system to feed the kitties. Or to stay strong for the kitties, That's least. why Tom Cruise ate his child's placenta, right? <laughs> Even though technically wouldn't, like, if we're talking biology, wouldn't the mother want to eat it? To Is that- was that proven, like, he actually did that? I'm- I'm pretty certain he ate his child's placenta. Mmm. That's Tom. good. Oh, Tom. Tom, you- you little fool. A little moron. I- I really hate how... I like him in movies, like, I like him as an actor. Mm -hmm. But... He's just a despicable human being. Special, I, my favorite role will always be Tropic Thunder. Yeah, you know, knocked it out of the park. He's one of the few people where I, I weirdly enough, you know what? The and whole, I feel like that's how Tom Cruise is on the inside. Yeah. So I'm more comfortable watching. You know the um, Tom Cruise just has that like handsome charisma about himself that just sucks me in. You like know what a I noticed? Killer. You know the whole like uh, separate the art from the artist argument. Yeah. You know what I've noticed? What? Our generation, like, tell me, can do that with people we grew up with, but not newer people. Mm -hmm. So, like, Tom Cruise, Michael Jackson, people are like very easily able to separate them from the things they did in real life. What which did Michael is, Jackson do except for make great music? Remember, he uh, come on, Ryan. 
I, I'm not aware. Did he break any laws? He caught on, his hair caught on fire on stage. It was horrifically embarrassing. Yeah, he did get canceled for that. I didn't think he would come back. How dare you be so, so misguided. <laughs> yeah, Michael Jackson couldn't exist in today's culture. They try to cancel him. That's what he gets for siding with Pepsi. Mm-hmm. The was, lesser of the sodas. Just saying. 100%. It's a, it's a mom soda. Pepsi's not bad. I'll throw that out there. Pepsi's fine. I, I don't want to. I don't want anyone to think that I'm slandering Pepsi. I enjoy Pepsi. I like it. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, Matt. Matt really do come across as the guy who just sits on a back porch and sips out of Pepsi. It's got to be in like a glass with ice cubes. <laughs> no, you just get the diet Pepsi bottles. You get like the toss like <laughs> diet Pepsi. Just the thought of that makes me <laughs> nauseous. Come on, Matt. You haven't had your diet. Hey, I or, well, I got you a diet coke. Did you enjoy it? I did. Did you actually? Okay, Ryan. What? All right, real quick, uh, <laughs> Justin, throw up uh, all over yourself, and then also <laughs> throw up the uh, photo of uh, the nice present Ryan sent me this weekend while I was at home, late at night. Uh, I can send you the photo of it being. No, wait. That, that would show your front door. Well, yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is how I found it. I had ordered food as well uh, for dinner. So I go down to my front door and I open the front door and my bag is there. And I didn't think anything of the bag that was also there. You thought it was just added. You're like, okay. Yeah. But I, the first thing I noticed when I opened my door was this horrendous smell. And I was like, God, what is that smell? And I remember I picked up both bags and I smelled my food and I was like, it's not my food. And then I was like, wait, what's this? And I looked at the bag in my hand and then I realized Ryan had been so kind as to uh, uh, Uber Eats me a one whole pound of, uh, of, of mussels. Uh, OMG extra spicy. And garlic, gar bu garlic butter sauce, <laughs> yeah. as well as a hard boiled egg, some ketchup and a diet, a diet Coke. So... Um, Did you enjoy any of it? I didn't open it. <laughs> what, Matthew? Dude, it stunk so bad. <laughs> I like it was. It smelled. It, it, it smelled like like a pier. <laughs> like like it, it smelled exactly like how like a pier smells when you go. I was over at a uh, Tucker's place because we were watching like Banshees of Inner Sheeran. It was with Justin and Tucker, and Chris was over, and Adam. You know, you know the deal. <laughs> Black Adam was there? <laughs> hey, oh, he, no, White Adam. Oh. But uh, <laughs> I just, I specifically wanted to order you seafood so that it would, even if you threw it away. In your well, Ryan, uh, <laughs> you know me so well because I brought it inside and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> and I took a picture and I laughed, but then I was like, all right, well, it's, it's raining outside. I don't want to run to the dumpster and throw it away. <laughs> So I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, after I finish my food, I You're will. You're making me drive all silly. So I went upstairs to my bedroom and I ate my dinner. And then I went to bed and I forgot that I had left the bag. <laughs> you of, left it overnight? I left it in room, in, act, in room temperature. <laughs> A pound of One pound of mussels, mussels and boiled eggs. And yes, dude, sir? Hey. Sorry, sorry. What's up, Layton? Nice. 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 All right. Sounds good. You Sounds you enjoy good. uh Home Depot, all right? Texas. It's Texas, all right. Fuck. Is there there's gas I need to get. Oh, Ryan. Oh, God. All right, you guys Well, that was his fault. He ran into us. Yep. Mhm. Mm so, uh, I'll see you. See ya. Well, as I was saying, Ryan, I left it overnight on my counter. I wake up the next morning and I I walk down my stairs and instantly I'm hit with this, this wall of one of, it, it was a, it was a horrible fucking smell. Of course. I don't, it, it was just like rotting seafood. <laughs> and my whole downstairs smelled like, oh, someone else ran into me. Yeah. <laughs> they should be more careful. <laughs> Boy, these idiots don't even know how to drive. Can I not get gas? No, these? not right there. Where can I get gas? Uh, across the parking lot. Oh. <sighs> And, uh, yeah, so I went and I threw it out, and I'll, I'll let you know something. The smell did not leave my downstairs for the rest of the day. So thank you. <laughs> also, dude, so you guys were watching that movie over at Tucker's, and uh, on his way home, Justin just decided to stop by my house. <laughs> I and, was in the car. Oh, you were? <laughs> yeah. Dude, 
it scared the shit out of me because I'm laying in bed and I get a notification. Someone's at my front door and, uh, dude, did Justin show you what the picture looks like? (laughs) Yes. Because with the ring camera, you could show it. I don't want to show it because it shows too much of the surrounding of my, uh, front door area. But yeah, it scared the shit out of me. And, uh, yeah. We're going to go repair ourselves. Oh. I'm going to go repair ourselves. Smart man, Ryan. Yep. I don't want us breaking down right before the uh, end of the mission. No, no. I'm sure it'll be a, a easy, quick uh, Yeah, job. service. Um, Just repair oh, for... $15,000, dude. Oh, no. We have insurance, though. So we only have to pay 5000 Hey, that's fine. Hey, we know we need to pay a little bit of money along the way. And it's not my, my fault that those bastards crashed into me. Nope. All right. Wow, this is the most... I don't think we've ever done this. Done like, what? stop to repair our truck. We've always driven it to the point where we have to get, like, towed and lose <laughs> a whole day. Well, we're going to get back on the road. And we're going to get to Texas all safe and sound. We're almost at that at five hours. Do you want to take over? Sure. Since it'll be, like, halfway. I love, like, imagine a real truck driver just cutting through the fucking <laughs> sidewalk area, going through the drive through the wrong way, just <laughs> with a fucking, like, 20-ton thing as its load. Dude, no one's better than me. Let yeah, me show him who's boss. <laughs> Let me in. Show that honky who's boss. Now, I know cracker is a contested word nowadays, but honky, I haven't heard anyone say anything about honky. Were people really ever, like, le- I guess they were, that's why it happened, but I think it's crazy that people were legitimately offended by Cracker. I know, that's my, that's my job to get offended it's a by. term of endearment. What's up, Cracker? What's up, Cracker? How you doing? <clears throat> See, we still have 98,000. Do still you think in, like, rich. seven years when people watch this episode, we're going to get canceled for saying Cracker? Well, I'll tell you something, guys. In 2023, the way the rules are now, I could say it. Ooh. And guess what? What? Chicken butt? Uh, uh, oh, you got me, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, Gotti. Um, Matthew. Yeah. So. So. All I'm saying is. What are you saying? This week at some point. This week at some point. You come over. <laughs> yes. Yes. Play a game of life or something. Yes. <laughs> I'd love to. Yeah. I love life. And and you so you just bought it and and is it the it's like the it's one of the newer versions of life right I think it, I mean it's still like life I don't think okay, it's like well, a updated well uh, well just just life still nowadays has the spin thing. yes so I guess like the the modern version of life they've updated all the careers to be more modern so like oh interesting and you know how you randomly pull the card yeah I played it and I got vlogger as my career <laughs> oh, no. um and it was awesome <laughs> was it it was. Yo, what's happening? Loan installments. How much do we have to pay? Oh, oh okay. eighteen hundred. How much? Are we ever gonna pay off that loan, Ryan? You gotta spend money to make money. It's business one hundred and one. You saying that, and I always forget. Hey, Cracker. Uh, your ex-wife's here. Yeah. Who, which one? Who, wait, who's who's ex-wife? I don't want to say names. Good but the short hair. Uh, mole. <sighs> yeah. She's, yeah. She's here. Uh, she was just wondering if uh, you have the uh, check. The check. the check. Yeah, hold up. I'll take over, Ryan. I'll keep him entertained. Don't worry. Don't you worry, buddy. Hey, put in a good word for me. You know, she's single now. And uh, I'm single now, so. She's one of Ryan's better ex-wives. Um, you know, the divorce was messy, as a lot of divorces tend to be. Uh, but you know, what do best friends do? They share. And honestly, they got divorced, so I feel like if I made a move, no, uh, no harm, no foul, because he, he made a choice to not be with her. Well, she left him, but still, uh, they're not together anymore, so I don't really see what the, what the issue would be. God. Get it what, sorted out? What a bitch. Oop. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, she's, she's not that bad, Ryan. She's not that bad, and she's single now, so... How do you feel about, like, just theoretically, like, when friends date other friends' exes? Um. I 
I guess it's like up to the situation, I guess. I haven't dated any of my friend's exes. Well, I mean, so like, like, so let's just, for the sake of the argument, use this situation. Like okay. if, if a friend were to like start a relationship with your ex-wife. Who you got divorced with, so it's done. Okay. I mean, like, would it upset you? Would you be mad? I mean, it would be more. It would be more awkward because I feel like the way we left things is that we're going our own separate ways, and it would be um, an interesting situation to say the least if we were to just happen to have to be in the same friend group and see each other constantly. Um, I thought she left yeah. you is what I understand. So going separate ways. I mean, there are two sides to every every story. So maybe you should talk to me too. It seems like you're talking to my ex wife. I'm not talking to your ex wife. I'm just saying hypothetically. Like just literally for the sake of the argument, like how would you feel? I'm not saying that I would talk to her or even like ask her to go out to get a drink this Thursday night. Are you saying this because you can't sexually satisfy either of your wives? Now you're you're coming at it. Okay, now you're getting personal when I'm asking. Okay. I'm asking a hypothetical, oh, that's and, personal? and you're starting to bring personal, real, real life things into it, which in my book is not cool. Is it because you can't get it up with either of the two of your other wives? You have to come to mine. You have to come it's to my ex-wife. Wife. It's your ex-wife. Yeah, I know. Ryan, I'm it was a lengthy I'm, process. It's like debate club. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to just raise arguments for the sake of of just just for the sake of arguments. No, not well for the sake of. Why with such touchy subjects? It starts. It starts conversation, and it helps us, you know, all find middle ground and understand each other better. That's all I'm saying. Mo most people who were even there to listen to the conversation already picked their side. Well, before they're not there to listen or learn anything. They're there to cheer on their side. I, I'm 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 here to listen. No, to no, that's, that's why I'm no, asking. No, you're not. This. You're you're here to push some sort of agenda. If you want to sleep, what agenda with my, am I if pushing? If you want to sleep with my ex-wife, that's on you. And the repercussions from that, positive or negative, for you or the friend group, lie on you. So, you do whatever you want. Okay. I will do whatever I want, but I'm not gonna. I wasn't planning on doing anything. But now, since you seem so ac accusatory from literally me just asking a question, maybe I should do something. You deserve each other. What does that mean? I think she's nice. Oh, I yeah. would, I'm not... And, like, theoretically, for the sake of the argument, if we did get drinks on Thursday, would you be mad? You just gonna add her to your, to your fucking collection? It's not a collection. And eventually get bored with her and then go have to find a fourth wife that you want to fuck? Did you get bored of the third one? The new shiny toy? Alright, I, I think we should just drop it. Okay. Because clearly you're not intelligent enough for, for an honest debate that has nothing to do with real life. Without, without, you know, bringing your infant mentality into this. Throwing a tantrum like a toddler. You know. You know. Yeah. And now you're just mocking me. See, yeah. now, now, now you're stooping down to a level where you're just, you're, 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 just, you're, resort, you're resorting you're to making resorting fun of my voice. Making fun of my voice. Because you don't have an argument. Because you don't have an argument. So I'm stupid. And you're smart. Thanks, Matt. I know I'm very smart. Do you really think my you're voice the is the smartest thinking? guy I know. You are. Except in these situations. You know? Situations which is, which involving is, you trying to get at my ex-wife. I never said I was getting at your ex-wife. Let's just drop it. You could have you could have just not brought it up. I'm making conversation for a let's play, Ryan, and I'm sorry that the subject of your ex-wife is so sensitive. I thought that you had more I'm emotional sorry maturity that, that, to move on I, from I, it. I'm sorry that the subject of you not being able to pleasure either of your other wives that you already have. Which is not is part too, of this argument. It's sensitive to talk about. It is sensitive. Oh, I just wanted to talk about things, man. And you don't know. I just wanted how, to bring wait, wait, things up for the sake know? of the argument. How do you know just I can't pleasure Just to have them. a conversation. Have they been talking to you? How do you know that? I have both of their numbers. You know that we text on a regular basis. It's nothing that we're hiding. We're all friends here. Well, some things I thought were sacred, and that's a conversation for me to have when I get home with them. It's not uncommon for all your husbands, though. I've heard great things. Oh, well, I can get it up much easier with them. I'm, Ryan, I'm, what I'm saying, okay, erectile dysfunction at the age of 26 is not unheard of. It's actually quite common. Okay? Okay. Don't act like you're a saint that can get it up every chance he fucking gets. Can you? No. 
I know Justin can though. Yeah. It's that 17 year old dog in him, dude. Well, Justin, Justin, well, I've been having problems lately. And Justin gave me this thing saying that it'll make me better, it'll make me more energetic. I don't know what it is, some medication. And I try it and it just cuts me off completely. Only 24 miles, Ryan. Then guess what we're getting? A big fat paycheck. A big load of cash. Real big load of cash. And then we're gonna start our journey up. Fuck. What? I missed the exit. Was that the exit? Uh, uh, yeah, but it looks like you can turn me around. <clears throat> okay, it only added 40 miles. No, no worries. Um, really? 40, Matthew. 40 in-game miles. Matthew. What were you thinking, Matthew? What were you thinking, Grace? But then after Texas, we're going straight up through all the new states we just unlocked. Yep. Oklahoma, Montana, Wyoming. Do you think their plan Idaho. is to release all the states? Yeah, they're slowly making their way east with them. So. God, if they... Do do South, South Carolina. Do do. <laughs> Dude. Hoop. No! Yeah, man, I would fucking absolutely love trucks in South Carolina. We'd probably only start taking jobs in South Carolina. <laughs> Honestly, just around like our hometown. Can we start a petition? Well, the problem is they have to make all the states to connect it to South Carolina first. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of states in between Texas and South Carolina. Because, like, the more you go east, the smaller the states get and the more compressed they get together. What about trucks in Hawaii? Wait, that wouldn't make sense. Well, I guess you just have to take the ferry a lot. So, like, I wonder, like... What's for dinner? <laughs> how accurate, like, these maps are. Um, Like, how much they do have to kind of tweak things, or if they just shorten the highways, and that's really it. They just, like, shorten highways. And, like, these side streets are pretty intact, or, or are they made up? I think, they, I think they do the city? general areas. Like, for instance, like uh, Santa Monica and the PCH, that's pretty accurate. It's just scaled down, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but I, I don't know. Like, is there an interchange in, in Austin or wherever that looks like this? I don't know. Uh, some of the buildings are the same. I've seen. Watch out. It says wrong way, but... Watch out. This is correct. Yeah, there we go. You got this! Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. A lot of people ask when we're moving super mega to Texas. Never. <laughs> I don't know. Don't we get a tax break if we move to Texas? Yeah. A big old one? Huge. Yummy, yummy. We'd probably be saving 30% of our income. It's not even a joke. Nice. And that's a lot of money. And that's at least $200 billion a year. That would be nice. We can move to Alaska. Ooh. The best state for taxes. <laughs> you know? The best state for content creation. It actually is, Ryan, because think about this. Okay. We're limited by daylight in Los Angeles, especially in the winter when it gets dark at like 5. We got to stop filming if we're filming outside. No. But in Alaska, we could be filming at 2 a.m. and the sun is still out for part of the year. Then the rest of the year would be completely dark. We get Tucker to move out. Oh, he would Tucker easily. would love to move... I guarantee if we actually proposed to Tucker, we're moving to Alaska and we want you to come with us. Yeah, he would. He'd be like, OK. He'd be so happy there. But we'd have to be OK with him like one morning just waking up and he's not there. And he leaves like a little note or something. Or he just when, eats half a sandwich and leaves. Went uh, canoeing through the Aleutian Islands for two weeks. Bye. <laughs> Tucker, isn't that one of the most dangerous seas in the world? Can you see Tucker like getting in a canoe and just trying to like canoe out into the Bering Strait? Tucker tries to once and for all solve the Bermuda Triangle from Alaska. Uh, I mean, sure, he can go from Alaska if he wants. I thought you were just throwing out random ideas. Oh yeah, I. <laughs> Tucker's the type of dude who would definitely vanish in the in the Bermuda Triangle. Come back thirty years later, the same age. Like as Tucker, if nothing. Where have you been? I was just gone for the weekend. What? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even think anything of it. Ow. How legit? Like. How, how much would that fuck with your head? Tucker vanishes. We just assume he drowned, like his boat sank. And uh, then 30 years later, he shows up and like he he's... He hasn't aged a bit. His his watch is still set the same. Like, all of that. I, I, I don't like, know I, why I'd remember exactly his watch set up. But. No, because his watch would be set to the same weekend he left. Okay, still. yeah, yeah, okay. Does he have a watch? We can get him one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Dude, Prime Rib! All right, we got to make a real quick stop. Prime Rib Roadhouse. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> 
Tucker's the type of dude to go spelunking and just never come back. And get stuck in a crevasse. <laughs> Still figure out a way to survive for 40 years. Just chilling, though. <laughs> mm, I'm fine. I was comfy. Hmm? Wasn't too bad. Remember when Tucker took us camping? It was really fun until he said we couldn't make a fire. The crab's eating my toes, though. Remember we were hiking, it was so cold. And all we talked about was like how excited we were to make a fire. It's dark, we get there and Tucker's like, uh, you shouldn't make a fire. <laughs> yeah. It will attract bears. <clears throat> and well, then finally- I, think, I, I don't think we it was legal to make a fire. The people camping down the fucking trail had a huge fire. Hmm. And then also, uh, then, then Tucker decides to pull the little, well, I'm going to bed, but I mean, you can make a fire if you want. <laughs> oh, Tucker, yeah. we don't know how to make a fire. <laughs> hey, we made a fire we were in depending Australia. On you. We did. You and you, I will say, you were exquisite at making that fire. Thanks, man. You were fucking in scavenger mode, dude. A lot just, of people pitched in and helped out. Nah, man, was this was all you. We, we were just getting drunk by the fire while you were just out there in the Australian wilderness picking up sticks. You had that little flashlight on your head. <laughs> I did. You seemed uh, like you were having fun. I uh, felt bad because I, I felt like you were doing all the work but stick like stick hunting it seemed like you were enjoying it at least yeah whatever you need to tell yourself don't take this away from me Ron it's a really <laughs> good memory I like people just like yeah you were working so hard and you were like the only one I was gonna help but it seemed like you were enjoying it so much you just seemed like you were having so I just, much what is I this? just couldn't I just couldn't take that away from you real quick I just want to see what this little thing is it's a okay it's a little movie it's a movie icon is it a drive in um Oh, it's a viewpoint. Is that it? Press A. Oh. Wow. This is a nice view. Oh, shit. It's an achievement. It's only the first of 25. We need to keep our eyes out for these viewpoints. I would like to start hitting the viewpoints personally. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's a nice little... Uh, is that water? That's just, <laughs> I mean, it's water, yeah. I don't know if this hole. is a viewpoint. I don't know if this is something I would. Mmm. Beautiful. I gotta stop talking. off the side of the road to look at this. Damn. Mm. Yep. <laughs> that is pretty. That's a beautiful sight, ain't it? Can you still honk your horn? Left stick in? Nope. I wish I could. Oh, you turned off the engine. That's right. Oh, that's right. That is gorgeous. Yep. You're seeing the heart of America here, folks. They sure don't make them like they used to. For all you non-Americans who have always wanted to see what America's really like, this is it. It actually is. This is this is probably 95% of America looks like this. Just bask in it, baby. I think you can just skip it now. 95% of America just looks like a Counter-Strike map. Press the B button. Uh, it's not done yet, Ryan. I'm enjoying this. I think it's just going to continue. Let me enjoy this. Okay. It's a cutscene. Okay. People get mad when we skip cutscenes. Of course. You've got the, you've got the freight hoppers. Mm -hmm. See, if I had skipped it, I would have missed the ending. You're right. The ending was the best part. A fool of me. A fool I was. Hold on, I'm trying to turn the car back on. There we go. All right. Well, that was nice. We definitely need to stop at more viewpoints. There's guys that play this game very seriously, and they stop at those and like, damn, this is amazing. Actually, I bet you I could find this on GeoGuessr. Dude, GeoGuessr is insane. We should play it. <laughs> I'd be awful. No, Ryan, I think you'd surprise yourself. <laughs> Unless there's like an Italian do... man holding up an Italian flag. And then he has... It's just a tourist <laughs> in New York. <laughs> though. We should play GeoGuessr as a one-off. Okay. Maybe we could do a little research before. On grass types? Mm-hmm. What kind of trees are in where in the world? You know, we can... Dude, that's too much. <laughs> We're not going to be, we just become geniuses. Yep, I know where this is. I mean, look at that guy that plays it professionally. When you look at him, do you see a genius? But I think I something in his brain is already unlocked that allows him to do that. He I think there's some, some people that don't, like, training helps, but they're just born with a gift. And who's to say what that gift is called? Um. Okay, I'm going to uh, park it for us. Okay. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. Is it just in this little... No, it's in there somewhere. No, oh, it's, it's right in... Okay, I see it. I want that extra 40 XP. I, I got you. That could be the difference between, 
you know, a level up and a not level up. Uh -huh. You're right. Getting another uh, skill point to use. Okay, I don't need the fucking. I don't want just let me over here so I can see the map. Should I skip it? You can do what you want. What do you think, Ryan? Well, what do you? I'm, I'm not the one doing it. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna skip it. <laughs> Satisfactory. Hell yeah! How much money we get? Ooh, sixty-four thousand eight hundred, dude. Still, that's a lot of money, and we leveled up once. Current company offers. What are current company offers? There we go. Um, so we have a skill point. So we can do hazmat, which level four is uh, flammable solids such as magnesium, matches, uh, white phosphorus. Okay. Long distance. So now we get the the long the longest ever. So. Deliveries up to 2,500, plus 25% higher reward for delivery distance longer than 1,600. Um, and then rank 6 is deliveries anywhere. High value. Fragile just doesn't seem like it's a good match for us. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't really care about fuel economy that much. High value cargo, though. That's kind okay. of what I'm, I'm leaning towards. What about you? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I got to take it off of... Wait, where did it go? Where did it, uh, where did it put it? Oh, I think it's applied to this. So this will let us 25% higher reward for high value delivery. Did it do it? No, I didn't select it, did I? I don't know. Did something. Well, we still have a... Regardless, we have an unassigned skill point. Unless I accidentally just applied it to... Something. I think I applied to the hazmat thing. Okay. Hey, still good. Know. White phosphorus. Anyway, guys, that is Super Mega's Texas Adventure. Um, we really only have one job available from here. That's it. <laughs> But look, holy shit. It goes through all of the new states. How much do we get? Oh, wait, only tw what? what? No fucking way. That's bullshit, dude. There's got to be more jobs than this. Seriously? <laughs> we might have to draw, uh, drive to a better job like place. Yeah, can I take a look at the... Uh... You can take a look at these nuts. Bye, everybody. Bye.